A couple of months passed after that, and I'd thought I'd seen the last of Fresh Powder. Um, it's come to my attention that the following scene is mainly recycled footage, so unless it's an edited scene or something I want to talk about, I'll pause it then, okay? Uh-huh. But then... Fire away! Ah uh, yes, um, that scene from that clip from chapter two, um, which I've only heard in slow motion up until uh, this chapter. So. Oh yes, because in that older one, I, I changed it to be like for for a dramatic effect. Yeah. I I also have to mention your um. I, I like that you're able to, well, like that bit with Squidward, like you've managed to remove him from the scene and put him there. That's one thing I've never actually managed to do, so um, I, I have to commend you on that one. I need to try and find ways to do that myself. All right. <laughs> See what a Dalek can do to a Cyberman. Ah uh, yes. Um, for those of you who don't watch Doctor Who on my channel, here is basically what uh, we were getting at with they've seen what a Dalek can do to a Cyberman. <laughs> yes, one of the. Um, but usually, if you put Dalek via Cyberman, this is that will be the clip you'll find first. Yeah, so, which is. <laughs> And sure enough... Yo, Snake Staff Magic. Good luck against Fresh. Ah, uh, yes. The three, the Freeper 35. <laughs> yeah, I remember. He, um... Ever since your... Would you like to remind people what your April Fool's joke was that led to this? Alright. So, basically, a couple years ago, I was... Uh, it was close to when I was going to react to season 5 of Doctor Who with Matt Smith. And people were getting impatient like, Oh, when's Doctor Who coming back? That's the only reason I watch you. And so, in order to try and get back at them, I realised uh, it was going to be April Fool's uh, a few days before the official release. And so, I basically made this video where I, where I say, Welcome back to this brand new series of April Fool's Day! And I had a green screen Rick Astley come up and say, Never gonna give you up. <laughs> and so not many people found the joke funny. And the the Reaper 35 in a sort of sarcastic tone said, I'll get vengeance. <laughs> well, he, he came over to my comment section and was like, you need to get revenge. Well, I used that comment for the April Fool's joke. And obviously he did it in like, friendly, jokey ways, you know, he wasn't actually angry, he wasn't my knowledge anyway, so I was like, want some involvement in the coming video? Yeah. You know, one last question I have regarding the Reaper 35, do you think he's going to take a physical form by the end of this series? Well, I my plans for post-chapter 6, I had, I have many ideas at the moment I'm trying to put in a specific order for how I'd like it to go mm -hmm. and um, one of those which I don't think is going to see the light of day I was going to ally with Reaper 35 and like do a load of stuff with him but he's um, he's decided to do his own series which is going to be in a parallel universe to us uh, mm -hmm. I don't want to spoil it or anything right. but he has um he has said that he'd like to get us both involved with some voice acting for it in the future if we ever want to get involved. So, mm -hmm. that's pretty nice of him. Yeah. So, there's your highlight, Reaper 35. He must be punished. After his awful April Fool's joke. I'm rooting for you. Good luck against Fresh. I'd gained a follower. Go team villains. Of course, the rest of the world would need convincing. So I took the time to warn them about Fresh Powder's heinous actions in joining the Cybermen.
Little did I know that the world would actually feel sorrow over a fallen cyber leader. Dear God! You must need the man. I truly have needed a good friend. We can trust Dad. Our family's been crippled. What are we gonna do? But before the world could react to this, I sent you the culmination of our DNA speeding project. Sour powder. <laughs> It wasn't long after that, but I found out the world had slowly been turning against me, rallying to Fresh's cause. Ah yes, the protesters. <laughs> Did you like the little signs? <laughs> yeah. Also, speaking of signs, you'll probably notice another commenter's cameo in this video. Emerald Soldier. He finally made his mark, of, well, sort of in chapter six with that little yeah. spray paint mm, well i like the people who watch our series i like trying to get them involved because obviously they're showing an interest and i said to him how about you trying to do some graffiti art for me so and um when it finally went into the video obviously after i used that I had loads of video left, so he, he kept saying to me, oh, when's chapter 6 coming out and stuff. And when he reacted to your video, he he didn't see himself, and it was a good thing you caught it, because it's only there for three seconds. You were like, Emerald Soldier? And then he, he, he commented, I, I almost missed it! Oh my god! And he got really excited. Yeah, because like, in my mind, Emerald Soldier has been pretty recognisable over the past few years. And yes, I do see years, because <laughs> this, this, this series has gone through a lot. Because mm. Emerald Soldier is one of the more recognisable commenters of mine, because he al almost always, use always uses that sort of Minecraft Emerald, and I whenever I see that, I think, ah, it's Emerald Soldier. <laughs> I remember asking him whose uh, side he supported, so he, and he said yours. So I thought, where better to put him than amongst the people who are supporting you with their signs down the street and having his graffiti be on the screen yeah. that I used. <laughs> so. so there you go, Emerald Soldier. The world knows about your lies! It was finally time for me to enter the picture. And, true to your word, you did manage to fix up a lot of things for the Chapter 5.5 video. Yeah, the, um, obviously back then I was filming with my 3DS and the audio wasn't picked up very well, so mm -hmm. the scene with my brother, I had him voice over it when we got home, and that's when I realised I should have done that as well. So yeah. for this one, I kind of made sure that it, you could hear the actual epic lines that you were supposed to hear in the original yeah. one. Also, you added the magical blast sound effects when, when you used your... Killing curse. Mm. That is actually the uh, Avada Kedavra sound that from the Harry Potter <laughs> films. Yeah, that's our dedication. We try to get everything right. Looks like it's time for Fresh Powder Defense Free. Me. Ah, uh, yeah. Another true thing true to your word, you did catch that Murkrow. Yeah, I thought, back when I first did that, it was just meant to be a little throwaway joke. <laughs> but I thought, all these villains who have, like, pets, seem to, I always thought it would be quite cool to have an extra pet on my side, hence why I said <laughs> there'd be a new OC sort of character, like Sour Powder. Yeah. So... Introducing Venus, which was just a name I thought sounded cool. Hmm. The only thing I changed about Mer this Mercury's design is I gave it purple eyes rather than red because I thought it would look quite nice. Hmm. Yeah. Also, um, I think what the only other question I have is who voices Mercrow? Well, I actually had my mother do the Hell Giovanni voice, and then all the other sounds are like the sort of 
sort of purry sort of noise. I, uh, yeah. I like I, I like how you put in like the purr. I think I've heard quite a number of Pokemon do that in the show, and so I thought, uh, that's a nice bit of detail there. <laughs> well, I showed my brother me like tickling Venus's chin, and he was like, ah, oh, like he he was impressed by that. And so, yeah. <laughs> You're going to make such a great pet, Venus. Go on, go and find a nice perch to rest on. Snake staff magic. What are our orders? First things first. Ah, uh, yes. Dalek 1's new look. Hmm, this was... Back in the day in Doctor Who, there were a few Daleks that the higher ranking they were, including leader, they might just have a black dome rather than a black paint job. Mm. And a good example of this is in Parting of the Ways, if you look really closely at the Emperor Dalek, you'll see he has a number of bodyguards around him with special guns, which we didn't actually get to see fired, but they also have the black domes. Ah, uh, yes. Because that was a bit of a, a question that I had, like, you know, why is it just the dome. Why not the rest of him, like Dalek Sec? But yeah, there's there's the answer right there. <laughs> I also had um another thing you should know about this scene is when I was doing the green screen because uh, the earlier on in the video I was just using my 3DS and later I got a better camera. That's why it looks better later mm. on. And the 3DS green screen cut out my wand, so the blue magic that was in is actually in front of my wand that was disappearing in the scene so that you couldn't see it happening. <laughs> that, that's pretty clever editing there. I like that.